Oh, oh, sign. <laughs> Standing in line. Oh, nice. Uh huh. They are in line here. Hi. Hi, Bart. Ready? One, two. Good. one here and one here that black leg in the middle is your divider take your time with it you want to go for the big and shiny balloons it is one prize per game here we go good luck harder throw it harder oh, Benny. come on you can use a little bit of that magic all yeah. right all right keep going two yeah two come on. take your time guys take your time slow Three. it down look for the balloon you want to pop come on so we still got prizes. We got two here and we got three here. So you can have itchy or scratchy. You can have a bear or a donut. And if anybody wants to play sign show you, I do have a line going on right down this pillow. Huh? Here you go, Papa. Three, two, one, go. Let's go, Ben. There you go. There it is. Let's go, Ben. You got it. There it is.
with a Volkswagen engine for all of those speedy miles per hour. Night Rider. Back to the future cars. Well, they have been to the future and come back again. Incredible. Environmentally friendly Flintstone cars. They're made out of plastic and plastic. That's awesome. The classic gyrosphere from Jurassic World. And a few cars from Transformers. Now check out this tank. The it's Harry a Potter car. Vehicle to your left. It looks pretty strong and sturdy, but that is actually just plywood on the outside of it, painted to look like steel and iron. It makes that vehicle a lot lighter, easier to move around the set. But do not take that into battle. It will not put up much of a fight. Here are some picture cars in action. <laughs> That dangled on top of a cliff with Julianne Moore, Vince Vaughn, and Jeff Goldblum in it. We also have some dinosaurs here. Don't worry, they're in their cages. Uh, they, they were in their cages. Uh oh, no, take cover. Uh oh, they got out. There they are. Get you? No, clever, clever girls. Oh, that was just acid dinosaur spit, everybody. Nothing to worry about. Should wash off soon. We're going to make it rain right here on the Universal lot. It's a beautiful, cloudy slash sunny day. But we need control over the rain or weather effects, special effects, in order to use it in movies and television. as we have now crossed the border into Six Points, Texas. Now, a variety of different Western movies and movies with Western elements is filmed here. Just a few years ago, director Quentin Tarantino was out here filming Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. It starred Leonardo DiCaprio as well as Brad Pitt. Oh yeah, this is from Westworld right here. Concrete Street made it look like the dusty old West was back in action. Now, Steven Spielberg filmed out here as well for his films Amistad as well as The Color Purple. A lot of these famous cowboys are in this area come to life. Like the Duke, John Wayne. It could be Spain, and it could be France. Uh, it definitely was Genovia, like in Princess Diaries 2, a royal engagement. I know, very exciting. Princess Mia had her princess parade right here on these cobblestone streets. But it's pretty modern right now. It's a little colorful. It is the perfect place for the afterlife and a really good place to film. Welcome, everybody, to... 
The grass is still swing, that's right. You and the ocean strike are dead. This location, the afterlife, come on. I've never ever seen this. You're in the blue place. I'm not supposed to be here. I can't risk going to the bad place. <laughs> Maybe it's not all that bad. How can I help you? What the fountain is the bad place like? Well, it doesn't sound awesome. A good place found out here for four seasons, and it still looks a whole lot like the good place with a railway station over to your left-hand side. <laughs> now, before the good place found here, portions of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. This area was Tatuga and Port Royal, and a few of those films starring Johnny Depp and Orlando Bloom. Those little cobblestone streets were also seen in City Slickers. The big running of the bull scene at the beginning of the film with Daniel Stern and Billy Crystal. Well, that took place out here. It was Camp Lomas, Spain. So now, so please remain seated, everybody. This is a hot set. And every soundstage is set up differently. This one happens to be set up like a San Francisco subway station. An episode of Bones filmed in here.
gasoline Bruce, the mechanical shark, caused a lot of problems while they were filming off the coast of Martha's Vineyard. The mechanical shark pretty much stopped working, caused the production to go 100 days over schedule, triple the film's budget, and director Steven Spielberg thought he was going to be fired off the set of Jaws. That's a much maligned shark. The shark is frustrated. It didn't really work all the time. It didn't work hardly at all. Wherever you were on the island, you were here. Well, it's Dominic Trudeau's classic 1970 Dodge Charger. And a few cars from different decades of Universal Films. And these are some really nice cars. Very expensive. They look great on screen. But this is honestly not the safest area of our back lot. I mean, anybody can come walking by right next door. Uh -huh. We are rolling up to the base hotel, the cycle house in the distance. I don't feel like you're right? grabbing a shower. And... Oh, look who it is. Oh, hi. That's Norman Bates. Hey, Norman, it's Olivia. You might not rec... Oh, he, looks, he seems a bit busy right now, but Norman Bates runs this motel. He really takes care of his customers. Oh, no. Sure does. Uh -huh. See, helping a woman to her car. Not everyone does that now. Wait. Wait, that's the trunk, Norman. That's scary, huh? Leave Norman alone to work out his issues. And we'll pass by the psycho house to your left. This is where Norman Bates. But as you round the psycho house, yeah, he's still, he's still creeping. Oh no! It's what is this? This is an actual 747 Boeing aircraft. Weighing in at over 375,000 pounds, specifically for this film. And it's where Tom Cruise's character hides out. War of the World. There's a toilet. It's designed around a vision that Steve had. And for, yeah, and to sit down to talk about War of the World, I thought, what if the 747 goes down right in a big neighborhood? Because it's, it's just something you don't see. You're doing good. You're doing good. Thank you. That's me. That's me. That's me. Close your eyes. Here's the rest of the place. Yeah, I'm closed. Come on. Bobby, get in. Get in. This set has also been seen in Nicki Minaj's music video Fly featuring Rihanna. But it was built for Steven Spielberg's War of the Worlds. And yes, that was an actual plane. Production bought from the airplane graveyard in the Mojave Desert. Cut it up into four big pieces. Placed each piece on big flatbed trucks. And shipped it all the way out here to Universal Oh, okay. Um, all right, everybody. We're actually going to make a quick little pit stop here and to Sullivan's truck repair. So please remain seated, everybody. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. 
like and subscribe.